we've seen a great rise in the last year on money transfer frauds. Uh, oftentimes, people will get phone calls uh, from a, from a relative, someone who claims to know a relative, for someone who tells them they've won a prize, for someone who tells them they've got a wonderful business opportunity. And the key is, at some point, they have to wire money to someone they don't know. And what we're trying to tell the public is, if you're ever asked to wire money to someone you don't know, it's likely a scam. Stop, think, and make sure that the person that you are, you think you're uh, sending money to is someone who's legitimate, someone who in fact is a relative, or someone who you have a pre-existing relationship with. The, the problem is that money, money wire scams come in all shapes and sizes. We see scams that we call the grandparent scams. These are phone calls from people who purport to know a grandchild or even from a grandchild saying that they're in trouble in a foreign city or in a remote place and they need money quickly. And then the caller suggests sending money by wire. And so money is sent by wire to a friend, someone who claims to be a friend of a relative or a grandchild. The money is transferred and it disappears. Once it's wired, uh, it, it evaporates. There's no way for you to get it back. Um, and we're seeing a, a real rise in those kinds of scams. Other kinds of scams are what we call the prize scams. You're called up, you're told that you've won a, a prize, all you need to do is give them uh, to, to wire some money and then they will send you, a, send you the prize uh, or they'll, they'll, they'll ask you to send them a check so they have information about your checking account um, and they will drain your money. And so uh, these kinds of scams take all kinds of forms, but the bottom line rule is that if you're asked to wire money to someone you don't know, it's almost certainly a scam. One scam we're seeing a lot of, wire scams, starts with you getting a check from someone you don't know. And as soon as you deposit that check, and that person will be asking you to use that check for some of your own purposes, and then to wire them some money back. The problem is the bank has to clear your check within a couple of days, even before it's certain that the check is valid. And if, and this happens all the time, if you, you wire money back thinking there's money in your account and it turns out, as it often does, that the check is a fake, you, not the bank, are liable for those overdrafts. So people are looking for work and will get call from someone who says, for instance, they've been selected to be a mystery shopper and they will soon get a check for thousands of dollars that will pay not only their salary, but will pay them to go shop at, at stores, at, at sort of stores that are, that are uh, available everywhere. They'll cash the check, the bank will clear the check because the bank doesn't have any choice, and then they'll go out, spend some money, and wire money back to their employer, or so they think. But they're not wiring back the employer's money because that check was fake. What they're doing is they're wiring money they don't have but they will be liable for, and they will end up in debt as a result of this. Let me wait, make one thing clear. Money transfers are a useful way to get money to people you know and you've had dealings with in the past quickly and efficiently. What we're worried about is using money transfers to send money to people you don't know or haven't had any dealings with in the past. That's a red flag that oftentimes is not a false alarm. So suppose you fall in prey to one of these scams and you sent, uh, you sent a wire transfer to someone you don't know, or you've cashed a check that turns out to be fake and sent a wire transfer based on that. The first thing you should do is report that incident to the wire transfer company so it can conduct an investigation. Then please file a complaint with the Federal Trade Commission. You can do that either through our website at ftc.gov or you can do it by phone at 1877 FTC Help.